Balenciaga has been all over the news here in the past recent month about the continuous photographs that has included Toddler. The photographs we'll be talking about are the ones used in the new Balenciaga campaign ads for the new teddy bear ads that portray adult themes. While there have been some off topic discussions on why minors shouldn't be participating in these ads, the vast majority of people appear horrified by the scenario. And in today's video, we're gonna be covering Balenciaga Gate. What took place on how this issue was handled, the assumptions of why this happened, as well as other people's opinions on social media. And I'll be blurring the faces of the children out of respect for the children. Balenciaga is a highly overpriced clothing line due to their exquisite craftsmanship. In November, they posted their two brand new campaigns featuring children. The first campaign featured very disturbing photos of children holding handbags disguised as teddy bears with very adult themed clothing, hence BDSM. The photographs with the kink bears, we can see items such as alcohol, spiked dog food bowls, even dog collars. From what it looks like, one of them is taking in a child's bedroom. We can all agree that children should have been featured in these photos, featuring the choice items that are presented inside of them. As we've seen in the past year with TikTok and the problematic issues on social media, with adults turning seamlessly innocent photos and videos into something perverted, the judgment call on these photographs should have been a no-brainer. The message people got from this collection was very exploitative in a pervy way. We'll be talking more about this later on in the video because it plays a big part of it. Now, the second campaign was themed as an office type business scenario and this features some documents from an actual court case from 2008 united states versus williams prohibiting the pandering of child pornography did violate the first amendment to the united states constitution this meant the offering or requesting to transferring selling delivering or the trade of such items was criminalized to top this off in the background of one of the photos you can see a stack of books with the title celebrating Bulgarian painter Michael Bormans. If you don't know who that is, he's a painter who features paintings with disturbing imagery of children that have been described as toddlers engaged in playful but mysterious acts with sinister overtones and insinuations of violence. Now the photographer who took the photos featuring the kids in the campaign was Gabriel Gambit and he said he had no part in the setup or theme of the campaign. He was only there to take the photos in his own style. Quote, I must stress that I was not entitled in whatsoever manner to neither choose the products, nor the models, nor the combination of the same. As a photographer, I was only and solely requested to lit the given scene and take the shots accordingly to my signature style. Going on, he says that the photos that he took weren't that bad. Not as bad as what people could find on the internet if you're into that kind of stuff. Knowing that this is inappropriate from a moral standpoint, the photograph shouldn't have been taken by anyone and the job should have been turned down. When it comes to the second campaign, people assume that Gabriel was the one that took those photos too, but they weren't. They were taken by a third party production firm called North Six and set designer, Nicholas Desjardins. We'll get to their statement in a bit, but I wanna talk about Balenciaga's statement. Their statement is very important to North Six and Desjardins. We sincerely apologize for any offense our holiday campaign may have caused. Our plush bear bags should not have been featured with children in the campaign. We have immediately removed the campaign from all platforms. With a follow-up statement, we apologize for displaying unsettling documents in our campaign. We take this matter very seriously and are taking legal action against the parties responsible for creating the set and including unapproved items for our spring 23 campaign photo shoot. We strongly condemn abuse of children in any form. We stand for children's safety and well-being. Following that statement, Balenciaga filed a $25 million lawsuit against North Six and Desjardins. Now the representative of North Six and Desjardins did come out and confirm that they did take those photographs, but the documents were provided by a third party and they weren't fake. Balenciaga claimed that the court documents featured in the ad were placed there without their knowledge. Spokesperson representing the production firm had a different story than Balenciaga. He said Balenciaga was well aware of how the office ad will look before posting it. Everyone from Balenciaga was present for every shot and worked on the edit of every image post-production. Now, as of December 2nd, Balenciaga came out and said that they will be dropping the lawsuit against North Six and Desjardins. The creative director of Balenciaga, Damon Gaveston, came out and said he takes full responsibility for the choices of children inside the photographs in a statement he posted on Instagram. I want to personally apologize for the wrong artistic choice of concept for the gifting campaign with the kids and I take my responsibility. It was inappropriate to have kids prime objects that had nothing to do with them. I need to learn from this. Listen and engage with child protection organizations to know how I can contribute and help on this terrible subject. I apologize to anyone offended by the visuals and Balenciaga has guaranteed that adequate measures will be taken not only to avoid similar mistakes in the future, but also to take accountability in protecting children's welfare 
and every way we can. Now, from my understanding, the creative director is still working for Balenciaga at this moment. Now, the people involved in the Balenciaga ad were not the only people getting backlash for these campaigns. Celebrities as well were also getting backlash. Celebrities with ties to the brand have been silent, including Nicole Kidman, Dua Lipa, and Salma Hayek, who is married to the billionaire CEO of the fashion brand's parent company. Celebrities are one of the first people to come out to social media and point out problematic issues and take part in cancel culture, denouncing the people involved. As the issue got bigger and bigger, Kim Kardashian finally came out with her statement on Twitter. I have been quiet for the past few days, not because I haven't been disgusted and outraged by the recent Balenciaga campaigns, but because I want an opportunity to speak to their team and understand for myself how this could have happened. As for my future with Balenciaga, I am currently reevaluating my relationship with the brand, basing off their willingness to accept accountability for something that should have never happened to begin with, and the actions I am expecting to see them take to protect children. And Balenciaga ended up taking down all their photos on Instagram, except one. One describing what the future will hold for the company, along with how they will learn from their mistakes. Now, Kim Kardashian didn't really denounce the brand. She's just reevaluating her involvement with the company. Now, after the backlash started happening with celebrities, they finally started coming out and started denouncing the company and the future business with them. It seems to me throughout this whole situation, everything was just a blame game. No one really took accountability except for that one employee, Balenciaga. Well, it's not a mistake from the person who developed the ad. It's clearly somebody in the marketing department at Balenciaga, which by the way, I just learned how to pronounce about an hour ago. Uh, they clearly made a mistake somewhere in that department and somebody should be getting fired, uh, I don't know, about an hour ago. Well, or, or also investigated. Earlier in the video, I mentioned some problematic issues with social media, children, and adults. Listen to this interview with Houston Police Sergeant Luis Mendez on posting pictures of children online. Just like everything else, photos are valuable to pedophiles. They're online always looking for new images and video. Just imagine that person is a picture like that is gold to them. These innocent photos also work like a legal loophole because they're not child porn. So we wouldn't be able to like charge them for having that picture, uh, but it's scary that they do have that picture. Now with that in mind, I want to talk about a few videos and articles that I found where they seem that this situation isn't really problematic and people are taking it out of context and blowing it out of proportion. On November 25th, 2022, an article was published to the Daily Mail. Father of British child model who posed on bondage themed Balenciaga campaign defends the photo shoot and insists his daughter had a fantastic time. The father stated that parents would not actively have their own children take part in pornographic imagery and that everything was taken out of proportion. What really stood out to me is when he stated that the child models featured in these photos were children of the Balenciaga employees. With the photos being approved for the campaign, this seems like it wasn't an accident, it was intentional. Let's take a look back at one of Balenciaga's statements. Our plush bear should not have been featured with children in this campaign. We have removed the campaign from all platforms. But yet the father when the minors said that it was approved by Balenciaga themselves. Now, if you've been following some of the story on TikTok, some videos would have been showing up on your For You page. TikToker River Sun Valley posted a video claiming how the ads caused no harm or danger to any children of any kind, and that there are only two models. Now, if she did some more research before talking about the situation, she would see that there are more minors involved than just those two. I keep deleting comments like this, but I'm gonna go ahead and reply, especially since this person keeps coming around to bark their stupidity on my posts. You are not trying to protect children. That Balenciaga ad causes zero danger to zero children. There are two children models used in a photo set surrounded by inanimate objects that are doing nothing to them. And one of the big problems is that it's exploiting children in photographs with items that don't pertain to children. And the ad's not even advertising to children, it's advertising to adults. Now, another video, she talks about how leather play and BDSM and sex is all healthy. I finally looked up the Balenciaga stuff and y'all are stupid. Like, so stupid, who cares? First of all, leather play is not the same as BDSM. I didn't, I can't really see enough of the teddy bears to know if it really is BDSM. But um, even if it is, who cares? Like, sex is normal, we all got here from sex. BDSM is completely healthy. Leather play is completely healthy. There's nothing wrong with anyone knowing that these things exist and they were on teddy bears. It's not porn. There were no sexual acts happening. There was just some teddy bears with some cool harnesses. Yes, all that is healthy. 
but adding children is inappropriate and exploitative. These some people will take advantage of these images. Perez Hilton also posted a video about Balenciaga. If you don't watch Fox News, consider yourself lucky. Conservative media is all ablaze over this new Balenci Balenciaga, Balenci Balenciaga campaign. It's so expensive, I don't buy it. That features children with their very special plushies. Here's another look. Yes, leather restraints, and what many would describe as kink wear. And of course, people like Candace Owens and the right wing are calling this child, you know what, rhymes with corn. Balenciaga has apologized. They released this statement and they had even more to say. You can pause on this and read it also. And I would love to know what you think. Personally, I don't view this as child corn. I just view it as inappropriate, tacky, and lame. People took this as if he was defending the ad campaign. I didn't really see him defending the campaign that much. And he confirms it later on in a follow-up video. He was stating that the photographs were inappropriate, tacky, and lame, and not child corn. What I found very inappropriate about his video is how he politicized the whole situation. When it comes to children's safety, we're all on the same side. It doesn't matter if you're red, blue, or neutral. Child safety comes first. Not to be politicized, but to be on the same side, no matter what your belief is. Looking back at everything, we can all agree no matter what happened or what caused this, none of this would have taken place if the protection of child models, actors, and just children in general were taken more seriously, no matter what the situation is as it should be. As we've seen over the years with child actors, singers, and children on social media, or just a child playing a simple game online, the severity of child safety is very underplayed. What are your thoughts on this whole situation? What actions do you think should have been taken with the Balenciaga ad campaign? Now, if you made this far in the video, thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.